So first, let's go ahead and change this into an augmented matrix. I'll zoom in so we can put those numbers in. Our coefficient of this x is negative 2. Coefficient of y is 4. The answer is 24. The next row, we got negative 4, 5, and 36. There's our matrix. All right, once again, if I look at this, and again as well, the idea is to get a 1, 0, and a 0, 1 with our answers here, okay? Um, but looking at this right now, I can see that in the second row, 4 is a multiple of 2 for the x column right there. So if I just multiply my first row by a negative 2, then it will be the same as 4 but opposite to that negative 4, okay? So negative 2 times row 1, that gives me a new matrix. And I got 4, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Negative 2 times 24 is negative 48. And we still got that second row. Well, now, if I take row 1 and add it to row 2, I'll have the 0 right there, which I want. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm not changing row 1 right now, but you could. And so we get... 0, negative 3, and negative 12. Well, I also want the 1 where this negative 3 is. I want a 1 right there, okay? So I can get a 1 pretty quick by just taking uh, row, I should have put row 2, and dividing it by negative 3. Because negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1. The great thing about this is it's not going to affect that x column because it's already a 0 in that row. So, again, we haven't changed that first row. But in the second row, 0 divided by negative 3 is 0. That's the great thing about that. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1. So we get what we want out of this. Negative 12 divided by negative 3 is a positive 4. And we know right away that our answer has a y value of 4 from that second row. Continuing on, I still want a 1 where that 4 is, right here. So I can take row 1 and divide it by 4. And as it turns out, all the other terms are divisible by 4 as well. So we're not going to end up with any fractions here. That's great. So I got 4 divided by 4 is 1. Negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. And negative 48 divided by 4 is negative 12. And I still got that other column. 0, 1, a row, and 4. The last thing I need is a 0 right here which is where that negative 2 is. And I can do that by applying row 2 to row 1. But if I take them and just add them directly, I'm, I, it's a little far off there. So I'm going to need, since this is a 1, if I make it a 2, it will cancel out that negative 2 when I add. So let's go and make 2 times row 2 plus row 1. Well, 0 times 2 is still 0 plus the 1. See how that doesn't really change anything on that first equation? So then I get, I still have 0, 1, 4, by the way. And I still have the 1 there. 2 times 1 is 2 plus that negative 2. That's 0. That's what we wanted. 2 times 4 is 8 plus the negative 12 is negative 4. So my x value is negative 4. And that would be my answer right there.